Hey, what's going on everyone? I am the OP Jellicent and we're back here on Pokemon Showdown. Go to Squad Raid here with a Choice Scarf Cortana on it. I found it on the Smogon forums. It was built by Tala, so I'll go ahead and leave the thread down below in the description, but I figured it looked fun. A lot of standard Pokemon right here, but it should be a good time. We got Choice Scarf Cortana, which has a lot of late game cleaning potential with the four attacks coverage right here. And it's able to go ahead and outpace other Scarfers like Blacephalon and Keldeo, so that's very good. Mega Medicham right here is a Fake Out 3 attacker set. Just another physical presence on the team alongside Kurtana, which can really be helped by all the momentum that we have on the team between Volt Switch Magirna. Assault Vestmon right here meant to take on Ash Greninja. Rotomosh right here, which is actually an Ayapapa Berry set. I usually run Leftovers, but I figured that I'm going to go ahead and run the original team, of course. So we have an Ayapapa Berry set right here, and it is our Defogger for the team. Defensive Flying EMZ Lander is T, which I actually really like this tech to be able to go ahead and catch Tapu Bulu off guard, because getting rid of Tapu Bulu can go ahead and help out Ash Greninja right here, which is the last Pokemon on the team. So that's going to be the squad. It'll be down below in the description. Really quickly, before we actually get into today's games, I actually did want to quickly address. I'm actually starting a road to top 10 in my spare time right here on this account, JellyTTT, and I actually really managed to get a very nice start right here with 31 and 1. So I'm going to go ahead and probably update you guys on that in a few videos throughout the next few weeks right here. So that should be interesting. It's been quite a while since I've laddered super seriously. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into today's games. All right, I got a game right here and we basically have the exact same team except my opponent has a Coco. I have a Rotom. I would say in this particular scenario, Rotom is probably better because it provides a more sturdy Landorus T check right here. I'm assuming that's flying EMZ Landorus like mine and everything else is just the same. We'll see right here. I think as a lead, they could lead Metachem. I'm really, I'm going to lead off here with the Landorus T right away as they lead off with theirs. So I'm, th I'm assuming Mayot just trade rocks right here. Not sure if they have HP ice on theirs or whatnot, but it looks like mine went up first, my Intimidate. So we're definitely both defensive. Just going to get up the rocks here as they actually have HP ice on there. It's very, very interesting. I think I'll just go for a U-turn this turn and I think I'm going to make an offensive play into Medi because they should go for rocks or HP ice again. I wouldn't imagine you fly an EMZ here and I really want to get the momentum knowing that rocks are going up. So I'm going to go Medi here as yeah, that play works out for me right there. I really thought that was worth it and this allows me to throw off a hit right here. So I'm going to ice punch as this should be able to knock this out. Oh, it's a Yachi Berry set, but I crit through it and they go for U-turn. So that thing dies on entry here. Very fortunate crit. So it looks like maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe the teams are not actually the same. And uh, I'm just wrong here. I guess that's what it is. They can have my Landorus here. I really don't mind. Go for an SD. I guess that's okay as long as they're uh, not the timid set. Hmm. Oh, hello? Friend? Let's go right here for a U-turn. <laughs> as they decide to go right for that. I mean, so they have two Pokemon that die on entry now, being Cart and Landorus. So I'm assuming they're going to be really pressured to defog here. I'll get in Greninja here and just click Surf. It's pretty free. Magirna comes out. This Magirna cannot really come in again on my next one. They're going to Flare Cannon here. I'm just going to go Magirna here. Uh, really good Volt Switch play, but I, I mean, like I said, they have two Pokemon that die on entry. They're going to try to defog. They get in Medi, actually. Interesting Medi. Do I need a Rotom at this point? Healthy. Their land address dies on entry. I'm just going to go Rotom here. Wow, that blew me away. So what I'm actually going to do here is go Medi first. And the reason I'm doing that is because Surf is not going to knock this out. And I really want to try to force the Battle Bond. So they sock off the Cortana to rocks, which is very understandable. My Magirna is still healthy for their Grin. I need to pressure their Landorus. I'm really surprised they actually gave me their, their Cortana and their Landorus. Cons everything considered right here. I'll get in Magirna this turn on the Thunderbolt, okay. And I, I mean this turn I can just go ahead for maybe an Iron Head. I guess Flare Cannon works too, but I don't know what their Magirna actually is. Volt Switch is also not a bad option. I think Volt Switch actually makes more sense because it, yeah, it'll put it in range of my my Scarf Cart here, and that's what I want, so. Let's get in here, go right for a Smart Strike, I think just makes the most sense. And uh, not really, I don't want Grin coming out after, so I'll go for Leaf Blade. Wow, that was actually a Scarf one. Okay, I, I did not know that. So the, our teams are very different, actually. I just came into this game with the wrong mindset. I think this game might come down to who's Greninja manages to sweep first, which it looks like theirs probably will be the one that manages to sweep. They have to go for Shuriken here, so I'm going to get in Grin. Yeah, because they, they have to go for Shuriken. They have no other choice. I'll, get in, I'll go for Surf here as... 
I do a nice 46. I think they need four hits here to actually not be able to knock me out. Would it be a choke to stay in though? That's what I'm wondering. I think I have to stay in and go for this. Yeah, I get in here. They're going to be able to knock me out with whatever they want. And then, does it come down to the speed tie? No, because my Cortana is, No, my Cortana dies on entry. This probably comes down to the speed tie, right? I think that's what that, I think that comes down to the speed tie against Medi. Who is Medi? Yep, so Medi comes in. This dies on entry. I, there's no way of defogging anymore, so I guess I might as well just sack this off, right? Cortana, these, it doesn't really matter what I sack off right here, so I'll just go ahead and I'll sack off cart, I think. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. And uh, yeah, this game's coming down to a speed tie right here, which, I mean, it's a 50-50. I think we're going to both just go for it now. They decide not to. I guess they're going for the high, potential high jump kick miss first. I'm not going to choke here. I'm just going to do the exact same thing. Make sure that fake out's not a problem. Go right here for Zen, and yeah, this game's coming down to a Mega Medichem speed tie. Every time. They decide to switch out. I will hide Jump Kick here. Okay. So in case this is Fake Out plus a Bullet Punch, my best play here is actually to switch out. I'm not expecting a substitute set by any means, because they already showed Fake Out, so... Would I Sponge Kill? From 76. Medicham versus Medicham. High Sponge is not killing. So I gotta risk the Zen Headbutt, whereas they really don't need to. They decide to go for Fake Out, which is not a big deal. Right here, I just go for uh, Flare Cannon. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna come down to this right here. And uh, they tried to go for Bullet Punch. Not quite sure why. I guess maybe they were adamant. Like, they have to be adamant if they risked Bullet Punch right there and tried to go for a crit, so... Yeah, I think they were adamant right there and tried to go for a crit bullet punch and they expected me to be jolly, so that's the only explanation I can come up with. But we come out with the win right there, which is definitely very cool. Great game, I very much enjoyed that one, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, I got the next game right here. My opponent actually has an Archeops, which is very cool. Their team as a whole looks very prone to Smart Strike after I got a Barax with my Landers, so I think that's going to be my priority. The other option would be like leading Cart and trying to pressure Archeops right away, but I don't know whether it's like Scarf HPI or Sash with Endeavor. I really don't want to risk any of that, so I'll lead off here with my Landers on Lottie. I mean, I really can't stand in case Ice Beam is a thing right here. If they start to come on up, I'll just volt out into Medi and try to force them out like that. I don't know how much plus two stored power would actually do. They decide to pivot into Coco right here, so that's that's okay with me. I think I just... I think Flur Cannon is okay, because if Victini comes out, I get the damage that I want for my Smart Strike anyway, so I'm just going to Flur Cannon here. Would they be Z Gigavolt Havoc? They have so many other potential Z-Mons, being Victini, the the Cortana, maybe even the Archeops, maybe even Bulu, so I'm gonna Flare Cannon here. I wouldn't imagine Coco as the Z out of everything, so U-Turn comes out. Victini is like th their better switch in right here, as yeah, I get the damage that I want for Smart Strike. Never mind, I did not get the damage that I want for Smart Strike. Let's get in uh, Lander's T right here, nice Tando L. I think this is still possible, despite that. Zen Headbutt, so they're Life Orb. I'm assuming Glaciate is probably a thing, so I'm going to go Rotom here. They're not going to be Glaciate on a physical set. 24.9. Victini. I'm, I'm just trying to calc the attack investment, because if they don't have any attack investment, I'm assuming they're mixed. Lander is T. Hmm. So V Create would do 52 to 61. What did they just click? Zen Headbutt? And I'm uh, um, 248, 112 with a plus defense nature. So, yeah, it actually looks like they're um, probably a life orb set with a lot of phys attack, physical attack investments. So I can safely rocks up here. And this turn, just in case they're actually Sash, I'm just going to U-turn out. They could have defog on this in theory, but I mean, I'm really expecting their own rocks to be what actually happens here. In terms of their endgame, I think they're going for either Cortana or perhaps a Calm Mind Lottie endgame. Calm Mind Latias might just actually do the job for them. So yeah, there's their hazards. I really couldn't stop that. I have several options here. I can go Scarf Cart or Greninja. I mean, I don't really have anything to hit Bulu on my Greninja, so I think Cart's just a much better choice here. 
And I mean, I wouldn't imagine you go hard cart on my cart, right? And even if they do, I have good responses with Magirna and Landorus. Magirna is not as important here because they don't have any prominent water type attacker. So I'll just go for Smart Strike. They may stay in. Yeah, they do. I'll be able to uh, get rid of their their Pokemon there. So that's very helpful. If Victini comes back in, I can't knock it out, unfortunately. So that's going to be a little bit tough for me right here. If Cartana comes out, I'm going hard. Landorus T on the Smart Strike slash Shakered Sword. You wouldn't Leaf Blade here. And I want to try to get that Z-move off if possible, so... I think here, I'm just going to go Lander's T. Oh, they actually SD up. That's a little bit scary. It depends on what they have here, though, because I'm going to try to Z. Maybe they'll get greedy and SD up again for no reason. Man, Timid Cart would be a problem. If they're Timid... I, actually, I think Magirna would eat one hit from Timid no matter what. Oh, yeah, they do try to get greedy. Hello? Why does everybody SD up twice? Like... It actually did not do as much as I thought it would, so I understand why they're SDing up twice now. I think uh, I just check off Lando from what the looks of it. I mean, I would love to have the the electric type switch in, but I can always pivot into Magirna or other things here. So I'll go for U-turn. They are speed boosting, so I have two options. I go for Shuriken and hope I get enough hits, or I go with Kurtan and risk the tie. I think Shuriken is a much smarter bet here. So, let's go for uh, a nice water shuriken. Worst case, I'll put them in range of fake out for Medi. But if I knock them out right here and they stay in, that would be beautiful. Honestly, two hits might knock it out. I wouldn't be surprised. Look, I know I don't have Battle Bond yet, but... If they go hard, Bulu. They do stay in. Ah, oh, can I get three? Nice. Okay, so they risk it right there. Three is the average, so that works out for me. And uh, that got really scary. I would have had to lose my Gren. But now Gren just looks like an actual threat late game. They still have Bulu, obviously. So their options here are going Coco because it's out of range of the Shuriken. They can go Lottie because they should know I'm Specs. They can go Victini if it's Choice Scarf, but we saw the Life Orb, didn't we? Where does that Zen Headbutt? Yeah, Bulu comes out. I'm pretty sure we saw Life Orb on that Zen Headbutt. I can't find it exactly. Let me just confirm. No reason not to. Where's this Victini's attack? There it is. Zen Headbutt. Victini lost some HP, so we know their life orb here. So at this point, I think Cortana just looks so good late game. I don't really need to make any offensive reads here. I think I just go Magirna and take the damage with that on uh, Nature's Madness here. So I don't really think they even have a way of knocking me out. I'll just Iron Head here to make sure Smart Strike kills it. And then I think Smart Strike... That Victini is still too healthy though. I need to make sure that thing comes in one more time. Why is that doing so much? That's a resisted horn leech, man. I'm not too stressed out about this. I'll get in Medi after if I need to. And uh, they actually do not get a good roll there, so... Kind of sucks for them. They might actually superpower here, trying to go off my choke of going Cartana. They decide that that's not something they want to do. I already saw them switch that moves, so Medicham is uh, very free. My play here is Zen Headbutt, because it would knock out Coco, but... I'm just going to Ice Punch. Because they shouldn't go hard Coco. And even if they do, once again, that's damage for... First of all, Ash Greninja. And second of all, my... Actually, no, I think I have to Zen Headbutt. Because they might preserve this for the Greninja. And I don't want to give any openings to the Coco coming in. So, I'm going to Zen Headbutt here. Can I hit? Nice, I still do hit. So, I was willing to risk that because I didn't want them actually getting Coco in for... Not free, but alive. So, now Coco comes out as it uh, finally should have. I'm going to get in Rotom Wash here. It's not really useful anymore. They decide that U-Turn is what they want to do. I mean, like, at this point, I can check Lottie with my Gren anyway, so I'm not as stressed out as I might be. Yeah, Lottie has to come. And if I was Thunder Wave, this would definitely be a wrap. But I'll go for Volt here. Yeah, Combine's not going to help them because I, I think Specs Ash Gren is way too strong. I wouldn't be surprised if this killed through that Combine boost against a Mega Latias. Genuinely would not be surprised at all. Doesn't kill. Uh, they choke though, I don't know why they recovered. <laughs> like, that just puts you in a worse position than you were already in. I guess they went off my choke of switching out. Yeah, they have to switch out into the uh, Coco here. I make the exact same maneuver that I already did and go Rotom Wash. On Wild Charge, so if they want to, they're actually dying to entry here. I, I always Volt Switch. I can't let that Lottie come in and roost up. 
they decide to go for the double down. That Laddie is not a threat because I just Volt out anyway. If Victini comes out, I think I can check it with Scarf Cortana. If it is a Z Celebrate, of course. I'm faster than it. So, I mean, I do have Fake Out and I also have my... My Greninja Shuriken. I'm just a little bit worried about the Cortana combining a little too much. I think what I do is I just stall out this Trick Room and then Dark Pulse twice. That's my play. Because what'll happen is, uh, first of all, Lottie cannot calm mind up on Medicham. It has to knock me out. And then I can just go Grand After. I think I'm fine here. Even if they, I mean, first of all, they can't even go Medi uh, Lottie now because I should outspeed it with my Medicham under Trick Room. So, I don't know. Unless I'm missing something, this should be my game. Really cool Trick Room tech, though. That definitely could potentially open up a win condition late game for them, assuming I choke the game away. Which, obviously, I'm going to try to not do here, but... Yeah, like, a choke would be trying to knock this out with Shuriken and then letting the Lottie calm mind up. That would be the choke that they would have to hope I make, but... I'm just going to keep Greninja until the end, and... All I have to do is make sure this thing doesn't get up another Trick Room later. So, Fake Out plus... I think I Fake Out, Sack Off Rotom. They're trying to figure this out here. I think they realize that they can't win. If they go down to 60 seconds and they still haven't chosen a move, I'll go ahead and do a cut, but they do pick a move, okay. So here I just sack off my Rotom to uh, V-Create. Get in my Metacham here, click Fake Out. And then actually, actually I think the Trick Room might work for me here because I just Fake Out and knock this thing out. It guaranteed kills as we saw and I mean obviously they have the drop too. Trick Room is up here, so I'm going to go for Ice Punch, and I should outspeed this under Trick Room. Unless they're slow Megalotti, which they are slow Megalotti, but this is going to take too much damage, meaning my next one knocks them out and Victini dies to rocks, so that's going to be the game here. So they're like probably max HP, max defense combined is what I'm assuming this was. If they defog here, Victini is too slow, so yeah, I knock that out, Victini dies to rocks, so... That is going to be GG right there. Very kind of long drawn out game, but I definitely think I did what I had to do right there. And I'll be right back with another game. Alright, my next opponent here has running some sort of a hail team right here, which I'm not gonna lie, Skarmory on its own kind of walls like a lot of this team. I guess my special attackers being Greninja and Rotom Wash can somewhat take care of it, but that is going to be a problem for sure. I think one of my priorities right here is going to be getting a knockoff on that. In terms of other good Pokemon, Mega Metacham just looks amazing right here, kind of had jump kicking through everything. In terms of my lead, I'm going to lead Lander ST right here, not expecting an Ice type, but they do lead with an Ice type. So I'm just going to assume that my Fly Neem Z is going to Oko this. I can live an Ice Shard due to that Intimidate. And... I mean, they could scout if they really want to, and go with Skarm. That would definitely be smart on their part. They do scout, which is definitely good. They might know the team, actually, but... I'm going to go for rocks here and hope that they whirlwind me out into something that can actually do some work. Here I can go for U-turn. And I think, once again, I want to get in the offensive switch into Medi here. On a roost. Okay, so... I mean, I can't really stand because of counter, so I'm going to go Rotom Wash here. I can't really risk counter being a thing. Starmie is not the biggest deal. They're trying to rapid spin. I'm going to go for Volt Switch here. They actually try to get in a Boma Snow, which... I mean, I can just get in Medi on a Boma Snow and finally start to put in some work. Sucks that Medi's already taken so much damage, and I was about to take more when this Skarmory comes in. Never mind, they actually want to sack off this thing just for the Ice Shard damage? That's a really random tech, why? We're ripped by Medi. This was, gonna, this was meant to kill everything, but now it just kind of dies to everything. Yeah, I just lost this Medi for no reason. I'm going to double hide Jump Kick here in case Skarm comes out. It does not. Starmy comes in. It's trying to knock me out with a rapid spin to like obviously get its thing going. Yeah, that's not happening. Let's uh, Volt Switch out here on the Aboma Snow. I think uh, Magirna is okay. Magirna and uh, I think just Volt Switch out here is fine. They protect the scout my move, which I mean makes sense. I can go for Iron Head this turn. As they get the turns right, unfortunately, I was kind of hoping I would get the turns right. If I want to win this game, I think Green Ninja's Dark Pulse is my way of winning this game. Meaning I want this in range. I'm actually going to stand here and attempt this Focus Blast. Because that's not going to do anything, yeah. And this Focus Blast is huge. Because that's Green Ninja range. 
So now I can Voltage out and make sure that Dark Pulse is going to do the job that it needs to. They decide to Toxic, which is <laughs> interesting. That's a great Voltage. I was wondering why that did more than I thought it would. Let's get in our boy here, Lander's T. Nice busted Pokemon. Get up those rocks. Nice rocks. Let's get in our Greninja this turn. Do they? Do you guys think they would be Toxic Skarm too? Starmie's in range. I'm going Gran. Yeah, they, they lose to Gran. Like, straight up. That is not a switch in. They decide to go for protect, and yeah, they just forfeit. Greninja is going to eat this team alive, so that's going to be that game right there. I guess I'll throw this one in, even though it was like probably less than two minutes, but I'll be right back with another one. Okay, got the next game right here. Not going to lie, I've seen better matchups than this one right here, but I think maybe the combination of Greninja plus Medicham can put in a lot of work right here. Medicham being able to go ahead and pressure Tangrowth and Magearna, which obviously those are one of the bigger Greninja checks on the team, a couple of them, but uh, they're going to lead Garchomp here. I'll lead Landers. So I don't actually knock this out with the Fly Z because of my item. I think I go Magearna here on a taunt. So I guess they expected Rocks to come out. They don't really respond to this, but I'm going to go for Volt here on the knock and get back my Landers T. And I'm going to hope they actually are baited to stay in this time and fire off this juicy Flynium Z here. Maybe they'll go hard Tang for zero reason. Hard Guard Jump's totally fine with me, hello? I go ahead and catch this, and honestly, I'm just going to Earthquake and knock it out. Like, rocks are great and all, but honestly, don't I just get up rocks and whatever comes in next? Like, what do they actually bring in here that prevents my rocks? So this would go for what? Hidden Power Ice. Lander's T, because it already burned the Z, is really useless now. So I'm going to go for rocks here, knowing that I can take one of these. Yeah, like, I could have obviously gone for the Earthquake, but it wouldn't have knocked it out due to Intimidate anyway. They can have this thing. And um, actually, I think m probably my better option right here is going Medicham and High Jump Kicking. Because it forces a kill, essentially. I know I'll take Volt Switch damage, but the kill could be worth it. Because nothing else actually comes in here and knocks it out. So I'm going to go Medicham. And I mean, I obviously know I'm going to take a lot of chip here between the Volt Switch and probably Helmet Torn as well. But I'm going to click High Jump Kick immediately and not let that Torn come in. Obviously, they should just vault out here, unless they really value Manectric's health, but I don't know if that's something they would actually want to go for. So I'm keeping Magearna healthy. I mean, I know it's Vest got knocked off, but and it, could, it, still, it still could kind of check that Magearna, depending on the spread. I might get swept by Magearna here, in all honesty. Shift gear with a couple attacks right here could just mess me up, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's hope not. So that's all you can really do against Magearna, right? You just hope it doesn't sweep you. Unless you have a Chansey, in which case, like, you're set, but... Even that, like, Combine Pain Split thing. Like, yeah, I'm gonna take a Volt here. That did more than I thought. Wow, this was really not worth it. If Torn comes out, it will die. Yeah, okay, so, um, that crit did not matter. Yeah, I just took a lot more than I was expecting to. That's kinda, that's kinda sucks. Especially because Manectric just comes back here and... Kinda just says no. I don't need Rotom. Yeah, they go for Flamethrower. I get a crit, which probably means I'm going to die to Volt Switch or whatever. I mean, I'll just Volt out because even if they stay in, I get the damage that I need for my Cortana's Leaf Blade. But yeah, I was really not anticipating to... Oh, I forgot about my berry. <laughs> it's kind of neat. How am I winning this game? I think a great start is going Cortana here and clicking Scarf Leaf Blade. Well, they're actually Fizz Def Tangrowth. That's really unique. I've never seen that. I haven't seen that in a while. But on the flip side, that means my Greninja is going to have some fun against it. Sleep Powder miss. I mean, it's Sleep Powder. What is that? 75%? Yeah, no. Let's uh, Flur Cannon again here. So they actually go hard Magearna. It's 12% Vest. Magearna against Magearna. Yeah, so that's that's Salt Vest Magearna. That's actually very good for me. I'm going to start to Iron Head it down here. They're not letting me do that. Tang or I guess Crawdaunt would be their two plays. I wish I went for Volt, but in case they tried to stay in, I could go ahead and... I mean, this is okay. I don't mind this scenario. I'll take her Manectric and then probably just claim stuff with Medi. I mean, the problem is obviously next time Medi comes in, I'm going to be really weak to 
Kang. So, I mean, I guess they're going back to Magirna here. They actually go Tang and take the hit with that. What, what is my play here? I can't risk Cortana. It's my crowd on check. I'm just gonna weaken. Okay, and this is what I wanted. I want them in here and so I can actually finally Volt Switch out safely into something that can give me a good matchup. Ideally, they Volt Switch again, but... I don't know. I, I really don't see Magirna's value. Okay, thankfully able to get the Volt Switch out. And uh, I get in Medi here, and... Essentially, they're gonna sack off their Tang here, which is gonna be great for my Cortana. Like, you, wouldn't, you can't sack anything else. If you sack this off, then I'm gonna win with Gren. Unless Crowdont actually takes one from Rocks. Okay, they actually just sack off the Crowdont. Oh, so they recognize what they need to do here. They definitely see that... If I double to Medi right here, I could guarantee the game. I don't think I need to. I think I Leaf Blade, and then... If they switch out of the sack or something, then get in Medi anyway. I think that's the better maneuver here. Yep, so this is okay. I think uh, maybe Rotom is the sack. Yep, because now what this allows me to do is get in Medicham. Nice Medi here. Click high jump kick. If they give me damage on this, Cortana's gonna have a field day. If they switch out, something's dying, and I would imagine you just stay in finally, right? Yep, so that's gonna take a little too much. I get in Cortana now. I hit him up with a smart strike here. Magirna, hard Magirna was never the play, hello. Yeah, I think Cortana sweeps. This will die from 26. Did I just lose? No, that thing's too low. I win. Yep, I surf this and I surf the Magirna. This will definitely die from 24. Because of my battle bond. So that got pretty close. I was really expecting the the smart strike right here to actually knock it out. But at the same time, I mean, I guess they went for hidden power, so in theory I could have switched out, but had they just gone for, like, Giga Drain, I would have been in a bad spot. Because I was in range of Giga Drain. I don't know why they didn't click it, because Cortana has a base 30-something or 40 spit F, I forget. But we pick up that win, which is definitely very cool. I believe we have time for another one, so I'll be right back with that. Okay, so last game right here is going to be up against that Hail Squad, which honestly, if they just play that Skarm Smart, they're gonna win, but I don't know if they'll do it this time. At the same time, though, Greninja once again just has fun. I really don't care. Yep, do your thing. They could double Toxic, so I'm actually gonna pivot to Magirna here. Yeah, they do double Toxic, so... This turn I can just go right for a Volt Switch. And get in... Oh, they actually give me this. Hello? I, I really like your switch to Dark Pulse here. They're very beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm playing around, but yeah, nothing switches in. Heatran can come in, I guess, but it's not gonna take my hit. That's definitely not... Oh, that's a very bulky Pokemon. I guess it has Freeze Dry, so I'll switch out here. Doesn't it get to Wish? Huh. They healed this thing back up, so this is the Greninja check. I'm gonna Focus Blast here. As I am able to hit into it. Nice. I'll Volt out here. On that. How fast is this thing? 251. I think Medi is smart. And I, I think I fake out first. Into Starmie. So they want to spin here. I think I'm going to stand and let them spin just for the high jump kick. Wow, that's terrible. Because now they can recover up on me. Maybe they don't have recover. That's like my hope here. Wow, that really sucks. I would have just knocked this out. But I guess it, in theory it's 30%. I think Gren can still maybe win. Actually, I, I think I see what I have to do here. I just high jump kick and then get in Gren. And finally force that Battle Bond, because, I mean, how much did Glaceon take? 39? 39, 78, it would uh, be too low. So this is where the recovery would come out. So I'll switch out here, and um, they give me it. Oh no, it's Colbert. Why do they have, like, all the tech for my exact team on this build? Boma Snow comes in. I got a crit into it. What's my new win con? I guess this can win. They have Protect to scout my move. 
I'll get in Landorus here. What can I win with? I can win with Scarf Menok off maybe from this thing. They go hard Gliscor. Okay, so I'll just rocks up here. As Skarm comes in. I'll just Earthquake in case it roosts. I am faster. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on tilt now. Because of my Greninja. Let's get out of here on the Toxic. I don't really care. I'm just trying to go for the... I'm just trying to set up my cart. That's the main thing. I'll Wisp here. As they just roost up again. I'll just Hydro Pump this time. Oh, hello. Thank you. I can win this game. It's gonna be uh, very difficult, but I can. They're trying to heal that Abomus. The Abomus knows dead on entry. Two Pokemon are dead on entry, actually. They're trying to freeze me. Why was it Colberberry star me? Hello. Let's get in cart. And, um, smart strike here. Let's do it again. I mean, I don't have a reason not to try. I just lost my last win con. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can still win with, because this thing can't wish up anymore. Yeah, I'm not reading, I'm not letting this wish. This thing is going to try to die on entry too. I'll iron head here and try to beat the... These two, because these two die on entry, so... I need to try to prevent the defog, if at all possible. I'm just gonna focus blast here, as the rocks go up. Nice. I get my kill. Glaceon comes in. Are you really trying to freeze this? Bro, that's not a win con. <laughs> yeah, and now I just volt out, and these two both die. I somehow won this game. But, yep, both of those nine entry. So, I mean, I sacked all my win cons, but in the process I killed everything that they had left. So, they just go ahead and sack off the last two. And that is going to be that. So, we are able to go ahead and win that game right there. Definitely, they definitely played it better than the first one. That cool, random Colberry tech really caught me off guard. Like, Greninja, I knew Greninja was my win con, but I really wasn't expecting that. So, that's able to go ahead and work out for us. We get back into the 1800s. Nice 5 0. Did hope you all enjoyed. The team will be down below in the description, as I said. It's not my build, so be sure to go ahead and shoot a thanks to Tala in case you guys do want to go ahead and try it out yourselves. And I'll see you next time. Later.